Have you been waiting for past six months or so to get your date of joining? Are you someone who was selected in the last year and since then you've been waiting to hear from the Qatar Airways cabin crew team about the next steps even after receiving the offer letter? Then this video is for you. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, my name is Twinkle and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you a very good news. In fact, I have to say this has been one of the most asked questions and I have not been talking about this because there was no concrete information about it. Having said that, people have been on hold for many months or even close to a year and I know how impatient have you all been to hear something from the recruitment team. And in this video, I'm going to give you very good news and an update about what can you expect if you've been waiting for the last year or a few months to receive your offer letter or joining date. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button and like and share this video with all your friends and people who have been in the list. So a few days back, precisely two days back, I got an update where the Qatar Airways recruitment team have started in calling in people who have been waiting for their date of joining. Yes, now there are a mix of people, whether you are in the lot of people who've been waiting for months or who have just cleared with their offer letters are waiting for date of joining or a rejoiner. A mix of all the candidates have been getting calls to check whether they are still interested in the company or not. They still want to proceed with their application or not. So there would be a call from the recruitment team and they will confirm your interest about the same. Once you confirm the same, they will be sending you an email for a reappearance in your interview. Yes, that's correct. You will all have to go ahead and clear an interview. Now, there is no need to get scared because this interview is not going to be like a traditional interview because I'm sure you all must be thinking that why do you all have to go through this hassle again once when you have already been selected and waiting for such a long time. So let me relax you here. It's not going to be like a traditional interview. You will not have to clear all the stages. In fact, it's going to be very different. You can consider it as a screening round. However, there is a difference between what is going to happen now. So if you're a rejoiner, you must have seen that there are questions and there are things that have changed from the months from the time that you were selected. If it's been six months, a year or so, you know that things change. For example, there have been changes in candidates' marital status, in their BMI, in their education. They might have changed or got into another career, might be working somewhere else. So these are the most important things that they're looking forward to. Their main concern is if there are any changes, for that matter, even medical changes or scars or tattoos that you've gone ahead and got yourself one, they need to know this. So the main concern of having an interview or a meet and greet with their recruiters directly, which is supposedly happening in the March, as you can see on the screen, on this email, where they have clearly invited you saying that they want to refresh your application. And for that, you need to meet them. So the first thing that you can expect them is a screening, a physical screening about your grooming to check whether there have been any new or fresh scars or any medical issues or concerns that you want to highlight. Apart from that, are you still in shape? Are you someone who has been underweight or has gone overweight or still in shape or not? So to check your BMI basically, are you in the good uh, physical health or not? They are the two major concerns. Apart from that, what is your thinking still? Are you still happy, proactive about joining the company or how is your behavior like? Are you ranting? Are you not very happy? Are you arrogant? very upset about whatever has been happening so one tip that i'll give you is please do not let your enthusiasm go away it has to be the same i know it has been a lot of weight but the good part is that they are coming back and you are going to be working there soon so just keep and hold your horses for some more time because there's going to be something very interesting and a whole new life that is awaiting your presence so question number one that you have in your mind must be where are they calling and from where have they started calling in people so as of now it's india and people from different cities and states have started uh, getting the invites for uh, a meet and greet event in Delhi which is uh, in the first week of March precisely on 1st and I am expecting them to send such invitations to candidates wherever they go ahead and start conducting interviews so you can expect them to email you and call you for an interview 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट आई एम गेटिंग इज इज इट फॉर पीपल हु आर नॉट सिलेक्टेड ऑन होल्ड आफ्टर बी बी ब्लू बैकग्राउंड फोटोज और इज इट फॉर सम वन हु हैज़ बीन वेटिंग फॉर देयर डेट ऑफ ज्वाइनिंग हाउ डिफरेंट इज इट सो लेट मी टेल यू वेरी ऑनेस्टली इट इज फॉर पीपल हु हैव बीन अवेटिंग देयर डेट ऑफ ज्वाइनिंग एंड ऑल्सो फॉर पीपल हु हैवेंट हर्ड आफ्टर देयर बी बी फोटोज Yes, if you're someone who has been selected, just waiting for their final go through, this interview can be expected by you all. Now, coming on to what can you expect? As I just said, it's going to be very different, but that doesn't mean you're going to just go like as if you're very complacent about things. That anyway, I'm selected, and there's nothing that can stop you. You can at any stage, even now, have rejections. I know it might seem a little unfair, but that is why they have the interview. But you don't need to be very scared if there is nothing major that has changed in your candidature. Just make sure that you keep in your mind. the impeccable grooming standards while you go you still have to be in your formal attire it is imperative that if you're carrying your photos it has to be recent photos just like it was uh, in the qatari way standards apart from that if you're married you'll have to fill a few more forms provide some more details if you're of course pregnant or if you've moved countries or if you need some more time to join then details on that so it's going to be like more of a conversation and nothing else so you don't need to worry about it however you cannot even be very complacent about it having said that that is all you can expect there is no need to worry just be prepared for the new things that you've heard about qatar airways don't indulge into myths and rumors that you've been hearing and ask them irrelevant question because that can annoy them unnecessarily and i think that is all for this video i have been waiting to make this video to come across and give you a good news and update a movement in the positive direction and i've done that i hope you found this video helpful and if you have any questions about the same that you know the drill you can put it down in the comment section below also this video is an initiative for you all to connect so if you feel like you can ask questions in the comment section and if you have something new or you want to share your experiences once you're done with your interview the refresher interview you can also come back and put it down all your experiences in the comment section below i will see you in my next video till then take care and bye bye